My name is Dan Kenny, and I am the owner and operator of ProMile School of Taxidermy uh, here in Billings, Montana. And what we are going to do now is we're going to give you a little tour and explain to you about learning taxidermy at ProMile School of Taxidermy. The first thing that happens as you come in, this area here is a lounge area for students. And it's also the reference area meaning that this is the area where we are able to uh, see different animals in different poses so that the student has a real visual representation of what we are trying to create. The other thing is we have a computer where we do use it for reference work and we do uh, everything available to the student to be able to perfect the, the art of taxidermy. Moving along now, as a student here, we have students that come in from foreign countries. We have uh, veterans. We, we are a specialty school for disability to train uh, people with disabilities in the art of taxidermy. And so we cover a broad base of areas. And this area here, uh, with the training as they come through, this is our kitchen area. And one of the uses of the kitchen area is that uh, we have students from out of state come in here. They're here for three to six weeks. Some of them are here for two months under program training. Uh, we have a motel across the street that gives a regular rate. So they come over, they can come across the street, and they can uh, cook some meals here if they want, uh, and they can be real comfortable. And so we offer the opportunity for them to bring their own lunch in to save money, use the refrigerator, use the microwaves, and different things. Uh, so that they can uh, just stay in school and learn. So we do everything possible to create a real comfortable learning atmosphere without a lot of interference. Each student has their own independent desk. And this is where their hardware sets and their tool set and different things that they, they uh, have. For example, now this is Richard's table and Richard is in the process of doing life size so we furnish all of the supplies needed for the school. We furnish the tools, we furnish the animals, the parts. All the student needs to do is come here with a good attitude. And then everything else is furnished to keep it simple and uncomplicated. Uh, so we offer them, they have their own little world they can stay in. We only teach one-on-one -on -one here, so everything is scheduled on a one-on-one -on -one basis. We don't deal with uh, uh, group teaching of any kind. The comfort level is one-on-one -on -one, and that way we have a real success ratio in terms of dealing with uh, students. Failure is not an option. And so when we work our training programs through, the student comes out of here, the goal being as a professionally trained taxidermist. This is not a quickie course. It's not a school where you learn basic. You learn fundamentals. You learn how to be successful as a professional taxidermist. Uh, Moving along now, uh, this is another area, this is the veteran, this one is a marine veteran whose name is Joshua, Joshua is in the process, he's just uh, finishing his life size course and then he's going to go into a bird and fish course as well. And he's under the GI Bill and we are certified, I guess is the term, authorized or we deal directly with the VA under non-degree programs to provide full complete training for veterans that say want to become taxidermists. And we're very successful with it in terms of dealing with, with the VA and the student and helping them get the benefits and work with them through. <laughs> Next thing coming up now is we're going to go into the work areas. Bill, we're going to meet you back at the place. Anyway, at the work areas, this is Richard, and Richard's in the process of, of doing a life size as part of his training program. If you look up here, I guess Richard had just completed part of his game head course, and these are the animals that he has mounted in the drying stage, and he worked independently to get to that stage. And in, at the school, we always train them to work independently, so that it's not a matter of they learn and they practice and they complete their work. How many animals does a person train on? Now, usually an an the person will train on for game head animals, that their minimum requirement is like four. And that would be like, say, two mule deer, a white tail, and an antelope. And a lot of times, even an elk. And over there, the, on that turn, this is Richard's elk. He just finished this turning bugling elk. 
so that he would get the training to do open mouth work. Now we offer courses in in game head mounting, in game head, full shoulder game head mounting, and we'll specialize. I had a student that's now a full time taxidermist in Alaska, so we brought in specimens that apply to Alaska rather than just standard specimens. So she, it's a female, and she mounted a big. She mounted a doll sheep, and she mounted a bo, uh, uh, lynx, as well as a caribou, which are the animals. So we provide the specimens that are needed for the requirement, and then we'll create requirements based on how well the skill is. Everything a student does here, they own. So they are charged for the parts and the material sport, and we furnish them with a price list up front so they know how much that's going to cost them. Now we offer coursework in game head, we offer a life size and mammal course, we offer a full bird course, and we offer a full fish course. We also offer specialty courses in terms of say upgrades, for example a week long training course in doing fish. Uh, but again, all of these courses are one on one where we deal one on one and we schedule our time based on the time of the student and work our, our way into it. Uh, so again, we also offer, because we're certified with the VA, we offer a lot of business courses as well. So we offer computer courses, we offer a, a setting up a complete business course that lasts uh, about two weeks, and we offer uh, uh, everything from projections and marketing and cost accounting. We offer computer course in Quicken as well to upgrade any, any student that needs a, to develop a complete business operation. So when we have a CPA who's my wife who trains on computer operation and, and computer bookkeeping and that type of thing. And we also offer a general computer course to teach anybody that's new at it or doesn't have a comfort level with computers, we also teach them to be able to, to handle that, which is all part of business. The goal of ProMount School of Taxidermy is to teach somebody to become a professional taxidermist so that they can make a living at it. So we don't shortcut anything and we're, we, I have 35 years experience as a professional taxidermist uh, to be able to offer the right kind of training that they need to become successful. And I've been a self-employed taxidermist for over 35 years. We don't run people through, we don't grab the money and run, we just make a point that they produce quality work. The last hurrah on in terms of this explanation is the fact that we do not have a time limit for completion. A lot of people, because we do bulk rehab, we're certified with the state of Montana, the state of Wyoming, and the state of Washington to provide job rejob training for bulk rehab. And we are certified with the VA. The VA doesn't like the word certified, but we are in conjunction with the VA, and we also treat disability or VA uh, wounded warriors as well. In fact, we just completed last year uh, an, an army uh, soldier that had been shot in the back and was in a wheelchair uh, full time and uh, we trained him and he is now running his own personal taxidermy business in uh, Cascade, Montana. So we do not create time limits where you're here for a week tough if you don't learn it. Uh, we allow a time that depending on you learn at your pace and if you need an extra week, you get an extra week and there's no charge for it. The object of the game is that, that you need to be here, develop your skills one-on-one, -on -one, and the way we develop them is we go from uh, uh, one specific training area until you're confident at it, and then we move to the next. An example, fleshing. Uh, you learn how to flesh, salt, process, raw height. You actually handle the hides, flesh them, turn the lips, turn the ears, and game hit. Well, some guys can do this in half a day or one day. Some people need to do six or seven heads to get proficient at turning lips and ears. Well, if it takes five days to be proficient, then that's what it takes. So we don't move, we don't move along regardless of whether you get it or not. It doesn't really matter. The point is you have to learn it before you can go to step two and step three. Once a week we have a personal evaluation where I'm evaluated by the student and I evaluate the student. So if we run into any problems, defects, or anything, we immediately work them out to create a positive thing. Last on the tour here, we have workstations. This is the general mounting and workstation. To your left is a processing station. 
and uh, this is an area where we'll do a lot of skinning and we do fish work depending on what the student does. The next area here, this is the bird area, where the student will independently be on his own, in his own work area, doing the work. So it's not a matter of just uh, uh, standing there and watching and not doing any work, then they're actually physically doing it, working it through. This is our rug area and this is some habit this is all habitat area right here. And this is the area where you got plenty of room to be able to create different items that you want to create and uh, uh, make them look nice. This is where we dry fish. <coughs> we offer full professional fish training program. We offer a full professional bird training program. And uh, this area right in here is another fish sculpting area. And uh, this area, getting a little light on here, this area here, this is all the painting area. Complete painting. So we offer courses in use of airbrush and painting fish with an airbrush, painting game heads with an airbrush. We offer courses in horn coloring and staining as well as part of the other programs that we do. So that when somebody comes out of here, you can either specialize and say, well, I want to be a bird taxidermist. So we design a special program to make that happen. Or you come in and say, well, I want to be a general taxidermist. I want to learn fish and birds and game head all at the same time. Then we offer the structure and the program to do that as well. And uh, the end result of the whole thing is that, again, when you're out of here, depending on whether you're disabled or not, we structure a specialized program to make you become successful as a taxidermist. And that is a professional taxidermist, full-time, being able to make a living and produce quality work. You do not leave here certified with a diploma from Pro Mile School of Taxidermy unless you can, do, at minimum effort, is to do professional quality work. So you're able to come out of here. You don't need to do 100 heads. You need to learn the sequencing, the training, and the skills. And then from there, you're ready to go. All you need is to just mount some more heads. And our training instruction goes like this. It's real simple. What we do is, I demonstrate how to do something twice. Regardless of whether it's a bird, a fish, or whatever, I demonstrate how to skin a fish, measure a fish, cover the whole nine yards with doing that work, and then you do it. Well, I watch you do it. And I watch you learn the techniques and the hands and the different tools you need to provide uh, a quality skinning product, fleshing, and all of the requirements therein. Well then, after that, I walk away. So I let you, in your own peace of mind, in your own way, develop your own feeling for how you want to skin the fish or flesh the deer. And then when we get done, or you get done, say skinning three or four or five fish, they say, are you okay with that? And this goes with everything, birds, fish, mounting processes, skinning processes. When the student tells me that he feels proficient at it, and I can see the results of his work and know he's proficient, then we move on to the next level. So you aren't rushed. The other thing is, we teach a lot of women. We pride ourselves in the ability of two major things. One, we teach people with disabilities. Number two, we cre create a very positive and comfortable environment on a one-on-one -on -one basis with me as the instructor with female students. So you don't have this competitiveness or you don't have it in a position where you don't want to ask a question or any of that stuff that gets in the way. Okay, and the last thing is that what you want to do, if you want to get a hold of us, the best way to do that is go to the website. It's called Pro Mount School of Taxidermy and it's promountschoolattaxidermy.com.